Hello full stack web developer and welcome to coding for all the only channel required to become a full stack web developer with practical applications and utilizing free resources. In the last video we learned about arithmetics in JavaScript, increment and decrement expressions and then we learned creating and calling functions in JavaScript. Along with these concepts there was a short quiz and we had three different challenges for this concept. And here I forget to mention that I left you with a challenge and it was to be solved by you. So did you get the solution? If you didn't get it then don't worry I'm going to show you the solution. So the challenge was for just just for deeper challenge where you have to create and call a function so that it may create a pattern as you can see on your screen. So now I will show you the solution that how you can resolve this. So the link will be attached in the comment section below so you can just click that link and it will get you directly to this point. So first of all we will change this to 5 by 5 and now here we will write our code. So Put deeper move. So we are using camel facing just to see. We can run. Yes, this is what we are looking for. Just reset and see how is it going. Yep, it's going good. So, left, move, turn left, move, put deeper. Let us see if we are right about this or not. Again, as usual, my spelling mistake. Yep, we are doing great. Let us see now. Where are we at this moment? Okay, very nice. We come this. Now we can reset and see how our function is going. Wow, it's doing great. Okay, so one more move. And then put deeper move. move. Then put deeper. I might be wrong about it, so we can test it again. No, we are doing great. So now we turn left, move, turn left, move, put people, let us test again. Again, again, again. Oh, very nice. Move, move, put deeper. Oh, I'm sorry. Move, and then I think turn right. Let us test. Great. 
very nice so move and deeper then to side and move then move then put deeper let's because this function again we are almost almost just at the end so move move and then for people so I think this will be done for our code great so still you see we have written a long line so we need to create a function and call a function so to create a function we are function uh, just put and here we are yep and now here I'm going to copy and paste all this code that we wrote here and that is how our function will be created very nice and now I can just put this the only thing left is to call the function and if you remember what we have been doing uh, in our quizzes as well as in our assignments or in our videos you will know that how we can call the function so just name yes P O A R D these brackets reset so are you ready to see the solution let me see if you're right or not great congratulations so we did it we created this whole function at the back end and in the code we just called this function once and this was done what we were looking for so this was the solution and if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to the channel in case you haven't seen the last video i would strongly recommend you to view that video before this so you may be confident and strong on those concepts so now we will get back to our slides so that we can proceed further so in this video we will learn about parameters and arguments then there will be life in weeks challenge after that outputs and return values in javascript then there will be a new challenge for you that is for bmi calculator challenge and at last there will be a quiz and one more thing that this will be the last video in the playlist for javascript for beginners and after that we will move forward with new concepts but this is going to be the last video for the beginner level javascript okay so parameters and arguments there are different functions like there are different flavors of ice cream and what we did last time was vanilla flavor as it was vanilla function the simplest ones now i will give you a new flavor of coding which you may say chocolate flavor code in which we will put an input and the function will be carried out according to it like we might put portals and inputs so if each portal cost 1.5 then we can enter the number of portals and so we will get the function accordingly and for this we are going to go to our console and snippet part from chrome developer tools to see its practical demonstration you will get this code written in the google docs that i will attach right under this video so that it may become really easy for you so now what you can see here that this is chocolate flavor coding here i have added one input that is portals and here i have attached console.log 
and then it will show. So, do you remember alert? Alert creates and pop up, but console dot log will just show you show you the solution here. So, it will show by bottles and it the number of bottles of milk. So, what is going to happen here? Let us see. So, this is here. so now it is telling you that buy 12 bottles of milk. So, what is the function? The function is that you are going to tell that how many both bottles have to be bought, and it is simply showing you that it's nothing else but it's only showing you the number of bottles that you have asked the function to buy so it will show you that and it is written right here so this was not a uh, you can say complicated function you just created a function where the input is bottles so you are going to enter number of bottles of milk that are to be bought this is where you created a function and you calling the function 12 is the input so you have asked to buy 12 bottles of milk or you can say just 4 bottles of milk Why? And, oh so we need to clear this So if I scroll up now, so you see, here you have asked this function to buy four bottles of milk, and this is what is carried out, and you have bought four bottles of milk. So it was very simple, but this was here to show you that how you can create an input that will give you the relevant output. Now there is a challenge for you. Now you will modify the code in such a way that you will enter the <coughs> sorry the amount of money and it will buy number of bottles accordingly. So to modify the code that I have attached below and I have even shown you with a simple input and output. So just pause the video and give it a try. So how did it go? Was it good? Were you able to solve this or not? If you were, it doesn't matter. We are going to see that how we can resolve this challenge and can compete. So this is going to be a new function with a new input. So money can be our input. So we are going to enter the amount of money that we have to buy. And for this, we might have to create a new variable. You can name it anything. I'm going to add number of bottles equals to money divided by cost of each bottle. So cost of each bottle as on the slide it was shown five dollar. So this is what I have written here. So the amount of money if I pay ten dollars and each bottle cost five dollars so the number of bottles will be five so for this i'm going to create a new console i'm sorry new console console dot log so number of bottles i'm sorry number of mil bottles yep. so what I have shown here that now I'm going to enter the money that for example I have given ten dollars to see that how many uh, milk bottles are going to be bought and from this i know that each bottle cost five dollars so there must be two bottles of milk so this will show the number of bottles as stored in this 
so two number of portals port so if it goes fine it should show two num bottles of milk so just get ready to like this video and subscribe to the channel in case if this runs correctly so are you ready for this let me test it okay so here we are two oh number number shouldn't be there two bottles of milk pot we can modify i'm sorry i'm weak with english then two bottles of milk pot we can try this again okay yes two bottles of milk pot we did it yeah so this was what we were trying to know in what if you want to know the number of portals are not in whole or round figure then how can you get because if i enter 11 for example let me test that if i give 11 dollars and each portal cost five dollars So is it even possible that you get 2.2 bottles of milk? No, it's not. So for this reason, we are going to use one more function or one more, you can say, concept that is math.float. So this rounds off the figure. And for this, what you can say, you can just write here. Math dot flow why don't we give it a try now if I give eleven dollars and if this goes fine it should show two bottles again let me test yes you see it has rounded it off to the nearest whole number so that is how we made it a better code than it was before. So did you like it? And did you like the video? So I would say in case you don't understand, just pause the video, give it some tries and you will get to know what I'm trying to do here. Or even you still can't understand, you can just comment or send me an email. So I now congratulations. So we are done with chocolate and vanilla coding. So now we will forward as in the last challenge we made a sophisticated function that asked for input and now we will make it more complicated. So along with input it will give an output, a return value. So this will be strawberry flavor coding. That is the most difficult and complex. But don't worry, we apply the concepts practically so it will become very easy for you as well as for me too. For this, we will edit our last code again. So you will write return money and with a modular sign with the cost of each portal. So it might be a bit difficult for you when I'm speaking like this. Why don't we get on to our practical purpose? This is our last code which we made. So we are going to make some changes in same code so that we can see how we can do something different. So for this reason, the first change that we are going to make is edit a return value, return money modulus 5 so do you remember what does this modulus show actually this modulus shows the remainder value so if there's some change 
left for example if i enter 11 dollars and two bottles of milk have been bought so there must be a change of one dollar and i should get that amount i don't want my code or my robot or my servant or anyone else to keep my one dollar i want my one dollar back so how can i check that for this reason you can you or you will have to do something different so var change so what this will do this return value will be stored here in which from this purpose or from this syntax this right hand value will be transferred to the left side of the equation so the change will have the value that was given as a return amount and now we are going to create one more console log where we will write you have change or dollar change amount of money return so if it goes correctly then it should give me one dollar let me test now are you ready for this great so two bottles of milk bought yes because each cost five and i have given eleven dollars two bottles of milk have been bought now what about my change you have dollar one amount of money returned so that's the change value that i'm going to receive what if i write 10 here so it shouldn't show anything that is going to be returned but you can try yes you have zero dollar amount of money returned and you have bought two bottles of milk so this is how we are done with vanilla flavor coding chocolate as well as strawberry so how was it for you was it nice a new concept a new step great hey now it is time for a mega challenge and this will be coding bmi if you don't know what bmi is then one liner is that it tells how fit or fat you are and unfortunately you will get to know my bmi and if you think you are in better shape than me then I would like to know your BMI so it may encourage me to become fit. So the solution must be like when you call the function, it should give you BMI in closest rounded form. So pause the video and give it a try. And don't worry, it will use the concepts that we have learned from the past up till now. So just pause the video and give it a try. I'm going to attach the skeleton of this function in the docs below and it will have its heading as BMI coding challenge and I have mentioned the formula for this which is weight in kg divided by height square and height must be in meters and when you put the values in the same order you will get your bmi in rounded form and you should get bmi in rounded form otherwise this won't be a good thing so give it a try now this is the skeleton just to see that if we are right about it no or not so just if our weight at 65 and the height is 1.8 meters then the bmi should be equal to 20 and if it's not then there is some issue about it so how we can proceed now let me see mm -hmm. so looking at what we can see from here i'm going to create a variable for 
बी एम आई इक्वल टू मैथ डॉट लो फ्लोर एंड दिस शुड बी वेट डिवाइड बाय हाइट मल्टीप्लाई बाय हाइट एंड वी वॉन्ट दिस टू बी मल्टीप्लाई विथ इच अदर फॉर एनीथिंग एल्स And then it should be like this. Then we want the return value of BMI. And now this value will be will be given to BMI calculator. That will be given to final value. And now we will see the final value here. And if everything goes right, which I believe, fingers crossed. the bmi should be 20 very nice so we did it but but it was just to impress you in fact my weight is a bit more only a bit more nothing else but yeah height is same for 6 feet so let me see my bmi fingers crossed please my bmi Oh my God! So it's thirty and thirty range. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar to this or not, but thirty is not a good range. So my BMI is thirty. What about yours? I want to know your BMI too. But beside this, my value, congratulations that you made a really nice code. And just if you want to know the details of this, you can just view this closely. you can erase each and everything and write each step one by one and you will see it's nothing different from what we have covered up till now and before doing anything else hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so we will remain connected for long life journey i'm sorry to say but as you can see it's time for the quiz you might hate me for this but i can't help it out because i made a commitment with all of you before that we are going to have quizzes and practical applications so that is why it's an essential tool for our learning so it's the time for quiz and i would say pause the video and attend the quiz link that is pinned in the comment section and then share your marks below let's see how well you have learned up till now so pause the video and give it a try So how did it go? I will be more than happy to see your marks below. So write them after you test yourself. So now we are done with the mega challenge of PMI calculator, but I forget to mention one challenge that is life in weeks. So here is the rough skeleton that I will surely paste in the Google Docs below so that you can see it for the reference and you can work over it. So what is the, that you are going to enter your age like for the reference you are going to enter 25 while calling the function and when you give the input it should show you that you have 23725 days 3380 weeks and 780 months left and for reference you need to compare as the life span should be of 90 years maximum and from that you are going to see how many days have you left if you are going to die god forbidden i'm saying again god forbidden and if you are going to die at the age of 90 so currently from your current age how many days weeks and months are left till your death So pause the video and give it a try. So for this, you need to make a new variable. Age in days equals to how many days there are in a year? Three sixty five multiplied by age. Then age in weeks. and there are 52 weeks in a year so this is what 
you will put here again now the third one is in months so age in months there are 12 months and multiply with our age and what is going to happen next as 90 years is our reference age so console dot log and this should be like you once you have so ninety into three sixty five minus eight in days. Plus um, days, comma, ninety into fifty two because then it's weeks minus age in weeks. weeks and ninety multiplied by twelve minus age in months months left. So what I have written here, in order to know my age in days, as there are 365 days in a year, so if I'm 25, 25 into 365, it will tell you my age in days. And for there are 52 weeks in a year, so if I multiply my age with 52, that will show that how many how many weeks I have spent up till now and how many months I have spent up till now after I multiplied 12 with my age So when I deduct the same amount from my reference state, I should get this as a solution So note this down to 3725 3380 780 Let me test our last solution Oh, okay, okay. So there is a mistake So I have left these and these mistakes. So you see that how natural we are working here. Let me test this again. Please don't get embarrassed. Yep, see. So this was the only mistake. The bracket says it wasn't clear that it should be then in which order so you have two three seven to five days three three eight zero weeks and seven eighty months left and even if you want to calculate in more specific details like in hours minutes and seconds you can do that and i would be more than happy to know this that how many seconds and minutes and hours i have left in my life as i'm 25 years in age so how was it for you if you have enough time don't you worry, we are going to become full stack web developer before the age of 90. That's for sure. Don't you worry about it. Okay, so that was all. We did parameters and arguments. Then there was life in weeks challenge, although it was at the end. It was uh, related to outputs and return values in JavaScript. There was a BMI calculator challenge. That was a mega challenge. And then there was a short quiz for you. So that was all. And this was all for the playlist of JavaScript for beginners. 
Next time we will be moving forward towards intermediate and advanced level for JavaScript. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and will give uh, your best to solve each and every challenge that has been given to you. You should practice that and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Until next week, good luck and bye. Full stack web developer.